Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am freaking excited right now. You have no idea. This, all of this cash, which I'm not gonna tell you the amount, is going into our 200 envelope challenge. We have two different 100 envelope challenges that we're working on. Um, one is this one from Mandy's Budgeting Journey. And then the other one, is where you pick your own numbers from Jamie from Jamie's Realistic Life. I have been holding back because I got my YouTube check and I usually just put it towards bills because I consider that income. And this time around, I was like, you know what, boo-boo, <laughs> we're doing some savings challenges with this money. I want to start something new so badly because I am getting a little bit stagnant on how I feel about my whole financial journey right now, but we've got this stack of cash. Um, this is just a little part of my, well, not a little, more than half of my YouTube check. More than half. So, um... Like I said, I usually don't give myself this much cash to play with, but I can tell you right now that this is $100 in ones, and then we have some fives, and we have a singular 10. So, let's talk about other things. Um, I bought a washing machine when I moved into this uh, 1966 single wide, and... It is no longer wanting to move. The drum makes a loud noise. This thing is super new, so I would have no clue on how to work on it, but I'm super grateful that I bought it new because it comes with a warranty. So I'm really excited because I think they're gonna come and pick it up tomorrow. Um, which would really, really help me out. Um, they said that they might actually have a loaner for me because I did buy it from an appliance store. So I'm excited about that. Um, however, I did have to splurge a little on the budget and I had to spend um, $9.25 doing laundry, which I have the three quarters in my pocket. I had to go do some laundry. I, I'm not going to walk around with no pants. Nobody walks around with no pants. So I had to do what I had to do. We're going to stick this 75 cents in here and let's get started. Um, let's move our guy over here because he's just too cute to not be a part of this, this journey. I haven't named them yet. I name all my stuffed animals because, you know, I'm five. And, you know, I need to because I'm five. Oop. Come back. Don't fall. Don't fall, please. All right. So, here we go. And you're probably wondering, where's my coffee? I have a water because, you know, sometimes I, I drink water. <laughs> Even though I believe that I'm, you know, 10% uh, water, 90% coffee. Um, but before we get into this, let's make sure that we give ourselves a little bit of money for our IOU. I got a little bit scratch happy. And I scratched a 5 last time and now I scratched a 7. So we're going to put this IOU aside so I can reuse it and write on it for something else. And I'm going to put seven bucks into this. This is a game that we're supposed to all be playing together for the month of May. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use this money towards, but we got 12 bucks so far. And you know what? Just for kicks and giggles, we're going to get our super sparkly scratch her out and we're gonna scratch a corner one so that way we know what we owe for next time Ooh, we got a five and this came from ellie on earth 
excuse Sebastian as he jumps off of the side of the desk here. So we're going to write a new IOU with this. We're going to put five. Five dollars is what we owe ourselves for next time. Now the idea is to get this done before the end of the month. We're going to try, but you know, life is life and it happens. So we're going to stick that back. Oh, I also wanted to let you guys know I have been doing the coin challenge a little bit off camera. Um, as you can see, I, I did add some money in here. There's all these sparkles all over this dart thing. So there's that. But back to the original reason why we're here. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of, of things here. So I, I cheated. I went ahead and I added up how much I need for each and every row here. And then I thought to myself, but what if I don't want to do that? And I want to do this one. We're going to do what we can with what we got. So let's start with this little row here and get that finished. These are all of our completed envelopes if you're new here. So all of these have been stuffed. That's why I have the stuffed with the smiley face little thing. And I think I'm gonna take from the side. And we're gonna just grab a handful of them because we're gonna try to get this done because like I said, I feel stagnant and I wanna go on to the next thing because I don't wanna be sitting here stagnant forever so we're gonna put two dollars into this envelope we'll put this you know what guy we're gonna have to move you you don't really have a choice you're going up here all right so this is stuffed and we'll get our marker out and we'll color in this too leave that one open we're gonna open another one Put that next to it. We'll do a three. So one, two, and three. And if you guys find this boring, I'm sorry, but this is just part of the journey. This is for our, our emergency fund because I'm done not having an emergency fund and I gotta do baby step number one to get on to other steps that I would like to do in life. I think I'm just gonna open some of these pens so I have them and then so these ones are stuffed so two three we're gonna do another three one two and three and somebody asked me in a video comment from a while ago why do I do this all separately and not into one envelope and it just gives it a little bit more excitement so that way um, when I do go to unstuff it's, it's exciting. It gives me motivation and hopefully it motivates you to do this too. So one, two, three, and four is now going into this. Now I could have totally probably bought what I'm actually trying to save for soon. I've been doing some self-funded independent research on um, what I really want to do. I thought about getting a Cricut because I want to make stuff, not only for you guys, but for myself. And I'm tired of not having a machine to do that. And then I thought to myself, do I really want a Cricut? Is that the one I want? Um, it's 400 and something dollars. Like, and I've used Cricut Design Space um, in the last few months because I did get that original Cricut. And it was like the very first Cricut that came out. And I just wasn't impressed with their little design space that they have, the Cricut Design Space or whatever it's called. Uh, and I, I don't like that I have to subscribe to it. Um, so I did a lot of research over the last few days and I think I really super want 
a silhouette. That's, that's, I think, what is going to be the key to getting what I want. Because I don't want to have to buy a bunch of stuff just to be able to use my device. You know, I, I also like creating my own stuff. Um, or taking something and revamping it into something else. You know, so... That's just how I feel about it. Let me know if you have a silhouette and how you like it and if you have a Cricut because I would like to know if you have both or have worked with both, which one do you like the best? That's what I want to know in this video. Which, which one do you like the best? Which one fits your needs? I did run into a gal at the farmer's market who was doing tumblers. She bought all the super cool equipment to do the tumblers with the, the resin and all that stuff. Um, and she, she made some beautiful stuff. And I said, you know what? I will, I would gladly pay you for a little bit of your time to teach me how to do this. And she's around my age and she has kids and she's like, if you get one of these machines, we're going to put four into the next one so I don't lose my own spot. Um, she's like, we can meet up in a park like this one and we can sit together and I can kind of show you the ropes. And she was the one that was like, well, what are you trying to do? What, what's the, the aim here? And I explained her what I do. And she's like, I have seen uh, budgets and baddies. Or budget, bad, blah, I can't talk. Baddies and budgets. Which Jasmine, I started watching her back when she had like 1,500 subscribers. Um, and she's obviously blown up since then. And I'm honestly super proud of that girl. Um, but... Um, She's like, I get what you're trying to do. I get what you're trying to do. So that made me feel a little bit better about trying to buy something. However, she was the one that suggested that. Um, I did put it in my own wish list. I don't know if you guys can see my wish list. Um, but if you see it on there, like, please, please don't feel like you have to buy it. It's a business expense and I can write it off. So, however, I'm super freaking excited because it gives me a new goal to think about when I go to work on my off-screen budgeting for my own um, business. Going on to four, so one, two, three, and four, because I can count, right? On to four. And I just like this being super colorful. It makes me feel happy. <clears throat> I think that's why I like rainbows so much is it's colorful. It's colorful and it, it brings me joy. And I usually don't like color that much. Like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you folks. Like most of my wardrobe is black and gray. And you know, <clears throat> for most of my young adult life, I have kind of still be, been in that alt alternative look, you know, vibe, um, cause that's kind of how I've always been. I like it. Um, I have, um, I have piercings, um, or had piercings. I don't have any jewelry in currently. Um, I have my ears gauged. Um, I obviously have tattoos. Um, you only get to see a few of them because I only have a few. <laughs> And, and why is that? Not because I don't love them, but because tattoos are expensive. My brother-in-law just finished tattoo school recently, and I would love to see him get his license. That would make me really happy. I'm, I'm proud of him and all that he's done because it's such a specific, specific type of art. And I myself like to state that, you know, I am a bit of an artsy person and I like my crafts and I love to draw. 
I wish I had a pad that I could draw on. That would make things super exciting. Like a iPad. So I can make my own um, designs to the fullest without having to... Excuse me. What are you doing? Come here. Or not. Miss Joan, how dare you rip up my papers by chewing them on the shelf on the desk? How dare you do that, ma'am? You keep to yourself, little goblin. I swore we should have named her Goblin. She tries to eat my hair in the middle of the night. It's annoying. And if you don't know who Joan is, she is a couple months old and she's a kitten. So she's definitely got that kitten thing going on where she's kind of like flipping out all the time. Oh, also super bummer moment. She ate the chili. She ate the chili while we were asleep. So we don't have any more chili. Like we, we literally got, all of us got two rounds of chili and uh, we got about a little bit more than halfway through that pot of chili and uh we no longer have chili because of you know miss goblin all right so let's do a little bit higher numbers on this one so we're going to do seven and five it's gonna be 12 bucks so we're gonna put 12 into this next one i had to count on my fingers you know I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm always tired these days. Um, I have been doing a bunch of gig working and my hubby might have a job in the city making better money than I could working a physical job doing um, some driving as well but it's going to be a lot of lifting. So Trust me, you guys, if I was a man, a big burly man, I, I swear to you, I'd be making some good money. And I know it's not a bit about gender, but I literally am only like 4'9", 4'8", 4'9". I'll be nice to myself. We'll say 4'9". Um, and I don't have the physical ability um, to do what he can do, which is, is fine. It's just a statute of limitations. And if you're one of those chicks that can do that, dude, like, I'm telling you, send me, send me some of your gene pool this way. Let's, let's do a little swap because, you know, I mean, some of these physical labor jobs pay really darn good, really darn good, especially comparatively to my little tiny town. All right, um, and then we're gonna go on to the next, which nine, well, we could put 11 in. Let's do 11. 11 into the next one. Ah, oh, we ran out of our stack of envelopes. How come nobody told me? Hey Amanda, we need some freaking envelopes, girl. So, <clears throat> we still also haven't figured out um, kid plans for the summer because no one's communicating on other ends, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of sucky, but it is what it is and, you know, co-parenting sucks. It's not the funnest thing to have to deal with. Alrighty, so that's now stuffed. Um, let's go back to this other one and let's see how far we can get. So we're gonna do four and two. So we'll do four and one and two. So one and two, three and four. Somebody also complained the other day because my videos were long. If you've made it this far, like, kudos to you. I appreciate you. 
And I'm sure it's kind of entertaining to hear me just talk on and on and on because I'm a chit chatter. So the, <clears throat> that's been stuffed. Now we're on to two. Going on to the two. And then we're going to go on to six. I love the idea that I opened all these markers ahead of time and I can just switch out change out and I haven't marked myself up yet. My hands are clean. So, also it's getting to be summertime here. We're getting there, we're getting there. It's not feeling like summer because it's not picking up in my little tourist area like I wanted it to, but you know, it might not be there yet because we still have a couple weeks of school and not everybody is traveling right now. How many of you could afford to go on vacation this year and how many of you couldn't? If you couldn't go on vacation, don't worry, boo-boo. I couldn't go on vacation either. I actually haven't gone on vacation in my whole adult life. It doesn't mean I haven't gone anywhere. It means that I did a lot of traveling in my younger years. Um, my dad traveled for a living and I've been to a lot of different states and had a lot of different fun. Um, I've been to Reno and um, that was really fun. I actually never went as an adult, but I love Circus Circus. Um, one, two, three, and four is now going into this envelope. I also have been out of the United States, which some people have never done before. Um, I have been to England, and I've also been to Canada, and I really enjoyed those trips. I specifically love the UK, love the UK. And, and I'm sorry if you're in the UK and you don't like it there. Um, how about we switch trips? I will let you Airbnb in my house <laughs> and you let me Airbnb in your house, right? I'm just joking, but not really at all sometimes. But I like, I like the idea of traveling, but the expense of traveling is just too much for my family. I'm on a low income and I can't afford it. I had a customer get, get a little, little snide about his inability to be able to travel where he wanted to. He kind of made a little snide comment. He was like, I'm not able to travel this year. It's like, I'm sorry, guy. Me either. I would love to go to Disneyland and see Mickey Mouse. And I know it's just a person in a suit. And we could do that here in our own front yard. But you know what? It's the experience that I never got as a kid that I would really, really like to have as an adult. Because to me, Disney is magic. Magical. All right. We are getting so close to finishing this. This is crazy. When I first started this, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. I'm like, oh, well, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Good old college try. And then we're going to color in a two. And then we're on to the six. So five and six. No, we need a pink. We need a pink. Where's a pink? Do we not have one right now? What do we got? We got this. We got this one. We'll we'll try this. Oh yeah, that's darker. It's a darker yellow. It's golden. Alright. What do we got left? We've got a five. 
Need more envelopes, friend. We've got the five. This is just going to be the gold yellow section of this. Alright. Now we're going to get on to a three. I picked exactly three up. Come back, envelopes. Nope, we already have that color there. Three. Now we're getting thoughtful of how our colors should go all of a sudden. So, ooh, we got a five in there. One, two, three, and four. No, we have three. We have three, Amanda. Stop it. We just colored that into a three. Alright, now it's time to be thoughtful. So we have to start coloring in the bigger numbers. So six, because we're going to skip that four. Six will go in there. So six. Let's use this gold color. Gold. Went a little out the lines there. Getting a little crazy. Alright, um, now we're going to stuff this five. How many of you think that this is going to be finished before the end of the month? I'm going to go bust my booty so I can do that. The hope is that that will happen. Okay, and now we're going to color in this other five. I have been working on this since April 13th, if you can't see down here. April 13th for both of these. It's time to get on with it. Alright, do we have any more fives? We have a five down there. We'll give that a gold. That's a janky looking five. All right. And then we have another five here. We'll also color that gold. We're going to do gold because why not? And then we're going to put another five in here. Just so you are aware, I only get paid from YouTube once a month and my check, it was bigger than normal. Um, and a lot of that is from you guys. You guys watch my videos. If you watch ads, it definitely helps. Definitely helps. It helps the algorithm. And it's, it also depends on how much of an ad you guys watch. Because we get paid from Google AdSense. All right, what do we got left? We got 15 bucks left. Woo, look at all this. We don't we don't have much left. We don't have much left on that one. We do have quite a bit to do over here, but we're gonna try to get this figured out. Fifteen dollars. The last fifteen dollars in my hand. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Because I see that being fifteen. A three and a twelve. and a 12. And when we go to unstuff this, I'm going to fast forward through all of the unstuffing part. So that way you still get the joy of watching and being unstuffed, but it's going to be the counting part that really matters. All right, look at this stack. Look at that, look at all this. Look at all of it. That's a lot of envelopes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, oop, why is this not working out for me, 37, 38, <laughs> My hand's not big enough. 39 and 40. We have 40 envelopes in total that we got to stuff. So let's go ahead and stick these back in. Holy cow, this video is 30 minutes long. Oh well, I haven't done any savings challenge videos other than this one in a minute. So how are we going to do this? Let's, let's do some little bit of organization. Actually, we're going to put our caps on. Our pens. I marked myself. I spoke too soon. Yep, but I'm telling you right now, you guys, that silhouette. It's $199. 199 I think I might. I don't know. Might be investing in one soon. But first we gotta get Mr. Jordan his DLC for Destiny, which is gonna be a hundred bucks in itself. All right, so reorganization time. How many of these can we fit in here? Oh snap, quite a bit. This seems pretty tight, but that's okay. I don't want to break my, my cute little gummy bear box. All right. So, now this is all we have left. We have these and these. So we have most of this challenge, but we have most of this completed. So if you guys are feeling discouraged, don't be. Don't be discouraged because if I can do this, you can do this too. I'm on a really low income, my budget's tight, I don't spend a lot of money, but as always, do what you can with what you got, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!